motion to instruct is really very simple. It was strike language from the Republican bill that prohibits mandatory funding for, plan, for Planned Parenthood for one year. Here we are again with a bill that attacks women and women's access to comprehensive health care. By defunding Planned Parenthood for one year, this disastrous bill millions of women out in the cold. Shamefully, this bill would prevent millions of women from accessing critical health care services such as cancer and STI screenings and contraceptive care. Even worse, more than 390,000 women would lose access and up to 650,000 women could face reduced access to preventive health care. Defunding Planned Parenthood is not just dangerous to the health of millions of individuals, but it would also hurt our nation's economic security. According to the Congressional Budget Office, defunding Planned Parenthood would increase the federal deficit by $106 million over the next 10 years. And what's worse, CBO found that defunding Planned Parenthood would lead to more unintended pregnancies, not less. We know that Planned Parenthood is one of the nation's leading providers of high-quality, affordable health care for women and their families. In 2014 alone, Planned Parenthood provided critical health care services to 2.5 million patients, more than 360,000 breast cancer exams, and 270,000 pap tests. In my home state alone, California, Planned Parenthood served 776 women in 2014, 89% of which were women on Medicaid. Denying access to health providers such as Planned Parenthood will hurt women who need these services the most, low-income women and women of color. Now, I don't know if um, these are intended or unintended consequences. Regardless, this is what you are doing in this bill. Now,